Hello everyone. How y'all doing? Thought I'd start off with the waterfall. My favorite, favorite thing. So before I start, please, please subscribe. Like and share this video. We're uh, past 900 subscribers. It's slowly but surely going up. All right, so um, <laughs> the ongoing battle of the pond. So I really, really hope next year I don't even have to have any of these conversations. Um, so yeah, I just actually like was in the back there. Um, the uh, the pumps the pumps working really well. So that that's that's a good thing because I had what this past weekend so saturday my wife says hey the pump's not working this guy here which controls the bog so anyhow so i get it fixed so that's good that's good um and actually it was starting to clear up um and then i went and stirred it up um so ultimately it's starting to get really cold so i am here let's go back here but first, but first, but first, we're going to feed these guys. Let's feed them. Because you know what, guys? I don't want you to leave without seeing these amazing fish. Which you can't see right now because it's... Uh, the kids were in the back, too. Playing in the bog, trying to catch frogs. Can't blame them. I wasn't... Uh, that's this weekend. I was just, uh, whatever. There they are. Look at these guys. It's actually starting to get really cold now. Like, we had, like, above seasonal aver or, uh, temperatures. And, uh, well, for Canada, it's starting to get cold. I, like, I'm in pants and a sweater. Some would be, uh in uh a coat i'm 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 all right how big these guys are getting though oh saw a couple of the new ones uh going for food there's a little white one right there he's one of the new guys and we're getting more so this is uh what i'm gonna try and fix so ultimately me putting dirt in those uh for the water lilies. I think that ultimately killed the whole uh, pond this year. Anyhow, neither here nor there. Whatever. It's giving me something to talk about. But I wish it was just like better things to talk about. Hey, look at that. Oh. Like by far my favorite thing. Oh, so amazing. All right. So let's go over here to the problem and so see you can see right here all the water is essentially coming to here and not filtering and you can see it's like super still filled with basically crap um so i'm gonna tear it apart i'm gonna put two of these things in what i didn't do with that is drill holes in it when going down so that's a that's a huge problem, which I I you know I didn't even think of. So ultimately, this beautiful thing's coming in. It's huge. Like it's I would I would say it, it's a good four feet. This one's coming in. Um, this is coming in along with uh, the other one. Um, so ultimately, what I'm going to do is put them in pots. And I'm going to leave them in water. That's what I did last year. And I was actually pretty successful with it. Um, yeah. And then... Uh, all my cannas. Some I'm going to bring in and just leave like that. Like, I... I if you guys have any canna tricks or ideas, please, please share. Because, like... Uh, I didn't have the greatest success. It took them a while to come back. And 
Hartman just wants to chuck them and get new ones. But anyhow. So ultimately what I'm going to do oh, is uh, tear this apart. I'm going to get, I think, I got to measure it, but probably six aqua blocks. I'm going to put on top with a bit of rock on top. Um, not a lot, just enough to cover it, but the aqua blocks will keep everything flowing nicely. Um, and then smaller rocks on the bottom. I have a lot of like big guys way at the bottom, which they just essentially take up space. So, um, yeah. And I might put the piping lower. We'll see. But yeah, um, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to do that before winter. That's my goal. Um, so I might start, well, I always say I'm going to start it and then I never do because I like love to procrastinate, <laughs> but whatever. So <clears throat> it's going to have to be real soon. You can see the leaves are turning. Look at that. Oh, look at that one. That tree over there lost a lot of its leaves. It's not the healthiest maple. Uh, my maple's over here. So I don't know if you guys fall, like saw any of my earlier shorts, but I do maple syrup. You can see. There's that. That's my boiler. That's my holding tank. Yeah, so I tap... Uh, all my trees so i got these guys here i tap my neighbors over there i tap all these guys in the back i got quite a few look at him fly and then i tap that neighbor over there i, I tap all the neighborhood or a lot of the neighborhood so it's actually pretty fun i've been doing it since uh 2016 so people know um I love maple, making maple syrup. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end. I have maple syrup whenever I want. So stay tuned for all that because I'm going to be uh, um, definitely posting videos on that. Definitely. So, yeah, guys. It's pretty exciting. And then uh, here, let's take a little walk over here. We're gonna, I'm gonna just show you, because I am the harvesting, which, you know, I thought of that name years ago, because I did a lot of, like, fruit tree stuff, so, like, I have all these, and it looks like gunk, but really it's a whole bunch of uh, seeds with, or Asian pears, and they're gonna turn into trees like that, so those are two-year-old uh, Asian pear trees, which I'm going to dig up. And then I have some right here, like this guy. And this guy are going to go in the front. There's one there, one there. I got actually quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I still have garlic. That needs to come out in here. And then I have all my potatoes, which should have come already out. And I haven't done anything with them. So I need to do this i think i'm actually going to do this tonight this is uh it's actually quite nice so <clears throat> i might do that anywho so that's all the the stuff i need to do but yeah there's the there's the maple syrup it doesn't look like much but like i have everything set up on pallets and it's pretty pretty awesome actually once i get it all going and uh, it's kind of hillbilly, you know, hick style, the harvesting hick way. But uh, yeah, it, it has a nice smoky flavor because uh, it is not your conventional uh, burner. Like basically all it is, it's a, uh, an oil tank chopped at the top with a buffet top on top. This, this uh, right here, that's just one of my, that's my finishing pan, my stainless steel finishing pan. All right, guys, so please, please subscribe.
you guys are doing great and if you like have watched me like more than once and you're still actually watching now which would be amazing um please subscribe and uh like the video and uh yeah and share it tell your friends you know this uh this guy from canada has this amazing pond he does maple syrup you know that's gonna be the next thing well no the next thing after this i do christmas lights and if you want to see some amazing Christmas lights, yeah, I do Christmas lights. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> all my fr I'm I'm known in the neighborhood for a well, for a few things: the pond, the apple orchard, or the 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 fruit tree orchard. I can't say apple orchard because it's not um, the maple syrup and all the lights. So. Oh, or maybe they just call me the crazy guy. <laughs> Whatever. I have fun with it, and that's the main thing. So anyhow, uh, subscribe again, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great, great night.